All right, how's everybody doing today? I'm just outside of Boulder Tap House on the Moorhead Dilworth border. I'm, I decided to cross them down over there on, yeah, right where you see this little island and whatnot. I'm estimating that that island on the road is about the Dilworth Moorhead border here on the west, oh, technically the west side of Dilworth. I could have gone all the way down to Walmart, way down there on 34th, but eh, I, I know there's at least let's see that a Route 3 and a Route 9 come this way, and I want the Route 3. So yeah, different angle to record at. Cash-wise down there, running way over there. Try to zoom in where I can. Arby's in that general vicinity. Yeah, Runnings, Arby's. Got the Starbucks. Used to be in Target over here at one point. Yeah, this is the intersection of 34th and Center Avenue. Once Center Avenue gets out of town, then it becomes U.S. Highway 10. Down in this direction that I'm recording, PetroServe USA, Access Medical, Slumberland. Down this way, you can see CVS. That is a River Valley Church in this building right over in this direction. I think yeah, they're tied in with Assemblies of God. Yeah, this area has, I have to admit, has been growing a lot in overall traffic in the last ooh I'd say ever since I've been out in this area and it's been a nice steady increase in traffic I've been in this area at least this part of the area since who September of 1994 so yeah that pretty much says a lot I mean, just, a be just put it this way, Boulder Tap House here, I was here well before that was built. This area of Dilworth that I'm recording now was barely developed at all. And one of these old, oh, I don't know if you want to quite call it a bargain type facility where they'd basically by a lot of facility it was here it was like an old tent looking building yeah I mean it looked like a tent in a way but it had been no no I'm not even sure I want to call it a tent looking structure it was one of these old tin shack looking facilities where they buy a lot of stuff from warehouses and whatnot that they're trying to get rid of crap in a hurry and then they just resell it Slumberland was, I think I remember Slumberland being new, where they got tractor supply at currently down in this direction, used to be an office max, remember when that was new, I generally remember when most of these buildings were brand new, so yeah, pretty much says a lot, cash wise had been a festival foods in the early days of its history. I'm not sure if it was a buyout or a name change or what the heck happened, but it was originally Festival Foods in that building. So yeah, TSC, well the old building I remember going up. Where Runnings is now, I remember that being the old Kmart. Man, it says something there, don't it? Mm. 
I remember when the subway down just kind of forward ahead. I remember when that it was in the main East 10 Mall itself, and then somewhere along the idea, somewhere along the line, they decided, hey, let's stay in the mall area, but just have our own separate building. Probably cheaper that way, most likely. Access Medical, that was the original Walmart in Dilworth. I think the first Walmart in the Fargo, I'll just say the Metro, that I know of was along 13th Avenue along the West Fargo border, if that means anything. Yeah, I pretty much remember a lot of this when it was open fields and, oh, let's be honest, I can remember when this whole area was still farmland. Only thing that they really had going was the frontage road and not much long here after that. All right, my bus is coming soon, so take care.